Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing our Boxy Charm unboxing for August. Um, I did miss last month. I did not get a Boxy Charm. It's not Boxy Charm's fault at all. In fact, I thought about contacting them, but it's not their fault. We moved and somehow in the process of moving, um, whenever we filled out the address change, the post office has lost some of our mail that was already delivered. Whenever I went to go get it, it wasn't there, and I guess they had picked up and just sent it here, but somehow it's lost, and my boxy charm was in that. So I'm still trying to, hopefully they will find it, and I will eventually get it, but I still have it. So this is August um, box, but I really wish I would have got last month, because I've watched some videos on the others unboxing, and it looks like there was some really great things in it. Um, but I guess I'm not going to get that box. So we're going to go ahead and do this month's unboxing video. It's the same box as always for the boxy charm. So let's get started. So we open it up and it's this cute little express yourself with a bunch of emojis on the card. Here we go is this and it's really cute. Um, it looks like we've got five products this month. So the first thing that pops out at me is this right here. I actually have an eyeliner that is in this brand that I believe I got in a BoxyCharm as well. Um, this brand, I'm not sure how to pronounce it at all. Um, it is D-O-U-C-C-E Cosmetics. I really, really like the um, eyeliner, so hopefully I will like this mascara. It is a $22 product, so right there the BoxyCharm has already paid for itself because it's only $21 a month. Um, let's open this up. But I really like the packaging on this. It's just very simple and sleek. Um, it is a Max Lash Volumizing Mascara. And this is the brush here. So there's the brush on that. It looks very nice. Um, I'm very impressed with the product packaging and this brush. So I can't wait to try it out. Then the next product I see in here is the Beauty For Real Shadow Stick. And this product is $19. This looks like it's very, very pretty. It's a very light shade. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not. Just a bit. It's got a little bit of shimmer to it. It's very pretty. Definitely be a lid color. This is a full size product as well. Then in here we have a dirty little secret. This is a liquid lipstick and this is a $10 product. And this is very, very red. It's a matte lipstick. I don't know that this is my color. I might be giving this away to someone, but it's very pigmented. As you can see there, that was one swipe. So this is very, very, very red. It's very, um, I don't know if that's gonna dry matte, but we'll see. It looks pretty shiny to me right now. We'll let that dry and I'll show you at the end of the video if it's dried matte or not. Then next, um, there is this big box here. This is another skincare product. The one thing that I really like about BoxyCharm um, is that they always have a skincare product in it and I always feel like it's a, very kind of high-end or uh, very expensive skincare product. So I really like that about BoxyCharm. Um, this product is by Alouette. I think I said that right. And it's a time repair serum. Um, it's $48. So this is a serum. Um, it says smooth away the appearance of lines and wrinkles with age-defying green tea extract and alpha and beta hydroxy acids. You apply a small amount to clean skin in the morning and evening. So this is a full-size product. Um, I am very excited to try this out probably just here in my smile lines and on my forehead. I really don't have any um, wrinkles or anything like that. But I will definitely try it and maybe kind of see if it'll help prevent that. Um, any type of serum too is going to help with, you know, moisturizing and dry any dry areas. So I will definitely give this a try. And then another big product um, that's on the very bottom in here is this Coastal Scents. This is a mini palette and it says blush and bronzer. It's a combo palette. It says on here that it is $13.95 plus $6, so I guess that's probably shipping and handling. The $6 is what I would assume. I think the $6 is for the bonus item maybe, because there's a, actually 
There's also a brush in here, so maybe that's what the $6 is for. Because it says on here, bonus item of angled blush brush. So I guess the $6 is for the bonus item of the blush, or the brush. This um, brush feels okay. It's not something, doesn't feel great, um, but it is angled, so that would be nice for applying some, you know, contouring here. Um, but it doesn't feel the greatest to me just right off the bat. It's very soft, but the bristles feel a little different than what I'm used to. Um, but I'll give that a try. And then going into the palette here, um, there are, looks like, three bronzing shades and two blushes. These shades, blushes shades, aren't normally what I would go for. Definitely this darkest shade here is not something I would ever really wear, I don't think. But this lighter pink shade isn't too bad. Um, I really like the bronzer shades though. Um, especially kind of this light shade. I might use more, not necessarily highlight, but something kind of to clean up your bronzing area if you needed to, you know, if you went out of line or something and you want to kind of make that more um, cut or clean, you might use this shade here and then, or if you're very, very fair. Um, but these two shades here, I really like those. I don't see any shimmer. This one has a little bit of shimmer here, so I wouldn't use that to contour. But this one here is definitely matte, so you could definitely use that to contour. Um, but overall, I really like this month's BoxyCharm. Um, and it also looks like you got 25% off Alouette products. So you could use that as well if you decide, you know, you like that you could buy another one um but yeah overall i really like this month's boxy charm and this lipstick definitely did dry matte um and it's not, he's mad and it's not coming off rubbing off my finger well it is just maybe a little bit there but not bad at all it's still staying on and it is definitely a matte shade so I am impressed with how that dried. So I hope you guys enjoyed this month's BoxyCharm unboxing. I'm sorry that I had to miss last month, but I didn't get the box, so there was nothing I could do about that. But I'm glad that I did get this month back. So I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and also subscribe to see more videos and tutorials. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.